What are we talking about? Hey, Sledders, welcome to another episode of Sled Ahead 24 7, where we are everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Carly Applin, coming to you from Route 66 Speedway, right outside of Chicago, Illinois. Lots of great racing on display as the Warriors of Winter compete for the national championship. But first, let's get this show started with a little sneak peek of what's in store for 2016. We're here at the Polaris sneak peek for 2016. Other than Polaris employees, we get to be the first to see what's new for 16. And I tell you what, it is cool. We have a great new lineup of 2016 Sled Sierra Polaris. The big news is the all new RMK family delivered on the Axis chassis. We're super excited here at Polaris about the launch of the new Axis RMK platform. Again, offered in a Pro RMK, RMK Assault, and SKS trim levels. The SKS model brings you a really capable, do it all, multi purpose deep snow sled. It really serves to get the sled out of the snow, it really gives you a very steep lean angle so you're not paneling out, so you're not dragging opponents in the snow, and really makes it a very easy sled to initiate a maneuver and to hold a line. Under the hood, you have the new 800 HO engine package, which is our three stage exhaust valve 800 engine. So, a lot of it looks similar, but it's all been refined and touched to make it either lighter, simpler, make it work better for the rider. We also have huge expansions in Rush, Switchback, and Indy with broader customization across the board to deliver riders what they're truly looking for in a riding experience. Today here at Articat, this is uh, what we call the sneak peek for the 2016 year snowmobile model lineup. We invite all the snowmobile press in. They get to look at the machines. They get to hear what's new for next season. We got new clutching, new clutch system. What makes this clutch really uh, exciting here at Articat is that we extended the durability a considerable amount, especially in the mountain segment where we had uh, some roller issues and cam arm life. Which is pretty big news, a lot of engineering development. Going to give us much more better durability and longevity. Here's our new WR3 Easy Shift Transmission. I'll uh, just kind of demonstrate uh, some of the gears. That's low gear, high gear. Of course, it's got a neutral, also a super low, and then a reverse. We've also got a new four-stroke engine in the 2016 model lineup. It's called the Series 3000 four-stroke. It's a 65 horsepower, 700 cc. It's in that horsepower range where, I don't want to say novice riders, but a lot of the lower end price point is going to really appreciate it. So it's really kind of a, kind of spring training here for the magazines. Teach them what's new, let them touch and feel, and look at the new machines. We're here at Skidoo's 2016 model year sneak peek. And this is where us as media get to come check out next year's snowmobiles way before anybody else. For 2016, we brought a lot of new technology to the market, things like the uh, Pilot TS adjustable ski. So there's a lot of good skis out there, but what this one's doing is giving you the best of all worlds. It actually adjusts the height of your carbide, how it comes in and out. It shows the amount of bite in the front end, allows the guy to determine how hard the snow will steer, how easy it will steer, but also how much it will turn effectively at the same time. There will be a kit available to upgrade snowmobiles that don't have Pilot TS on them already. It not only made a machine that you can go backcountry riding and off trail riding, but have the comforts with like the air shock to go some long distance. The uh, MXZ X package with the new 1200 ITC motor in it. Again, it's the Fortec 1200 and we've applied the ITC technology to it. A very efficient motor, familiar for most of our customers, put into a nice Rev XS package. The Summit line this year for 2016, what we've done is we've added the T3 package in a 154 length. We've also got the Summit SP 
available with the T3 package. All three lengths, 154, 163, and 174. Now keep it locked right here to Sledhead 24-7 for a further in-depth look with these sleds in our next episode as we head to Snowshoot 2016. Plenty more ahead on Sledhead 24-7 as we see what's on tap for FXR next season. Plus, Rob and Dave evaluate the new Articat HCR and see why Tucker Hibbert and Speedworks are a winning combo out on the track. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, Polaris, Terrain Domination, Skidoo Snowmobiles, and by Articat. Share our passion. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin. Time now to see why Tucker Hibbert and Speedworks make for a winning combo out on the track. Well, racing for this team is pretty awesome for sure. Uh, it's you know pretty much made up of all my good friends and family, so I couldn't really ask for a better uh, team and, and group of guys to be working with. And you know we've been working super hard over the years to build up uh, you know a program that we feel is the best it can be, and uh, we've worked with a lot of great companies and great sponsors, and uh, we've had a lot of success. So for me, it's been really re rewarding and a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, I get to work with awesome people. That's the best part. It's awesome to be working with Tucker, you know, um, well for one thing it, it's an outstanding way to test the products that we develop to make sure that they perform at a high level. Well Speedworks has been a big part of my program uh, almost since day one of my professional career. Steve Houle and, and all the people at Speedworks have been working super hard to, to make sure I get good starts and have uh, you know, really high performing packages. The Articat sled is, is awesome and with Steve tuning the clutches and, and building pipes and you know we're a little bit limited now with the, the different rules and what we've had in the past so we can't do too much to the engines themselves but you know they've always been there. Steve's been there with me at almost every single win and every single race I've, I've raced as a professional so it's, it's really cool to have that relationship. Try and race at this level without good sponsors like Speedworks and and some of our other sponsors. It's uh, it would be be really tough tough to be that competitive because everything has to be spot on. We'll always be pushing to be faster, and that's that's what's cool about Speedworks. They're always you know pushing the limits just as hard as as I do and the rest of the team does. They're right there with us, just figuring out how to make things better and stay one step ahead of the competition. Tucker Hibbert, the number 68 sled across the end zone finish line has done it! 100 feature wins for the first time in the history of Amsoil Championship Snowcross! The Deadwood race was spectacular. I, I mean, I would say that the, the products proved themselves when he got the initial hole shot. We had the thing dialed in pretty good. The race in Deadwood, I fell off on the start and came from last to first to get that win so it was you know pretty exciting and there's no better way to prove that a product works and that that there's value in it than winning races you know to get 100 wins in 15 years you have to really be on target and it takes you know a tremendous broad team to do that and and having uh, sponsors like speedworks just really helps keep you there every weekend There isn't a better proving ground in my mind. I mean, if we can go out there and, and put it through its paces on the racetrack and, and pound the product as hard as he does in his, on his practice sled and on his race sled, that's, that's the best proving ground that I know of. That's the whole, the whole goal of a race team and as a company that's uh, founded in racing is to win, you know? You want to go out there and have success. And, and we proved that as a race team and, and with Speedworks behind us, they proved it as a company that their products are, are the best you can put in your sled and, and we win races with it. So it's, there's no better you know, endorsement than that, showing off the number one trophies.
Tucker Hibbert, Speedworks, and Team 68 are a force to be reckoned with out on the track. For more information about Speedworks and the products they have to offer, head over to speedworksstore.com for more information. Still ahead, FXR is a leader in world-class outerwear. See what's on tap for 2016. Plus, backcountry athletes Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure evaluate the Articat HCR. Don't go anywhere. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Straight line performance. Ziegler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. The U.S. Air Force. Aim high. And by Speedworks. Straight up USA horsepower. If it happens in the world of snowmobiling, then you'll find it here first. I'm your host, Carly Applin, and let's check in with FXR, the leader in world-class outerwear. We've got our FXR 2016 International Dealers Meeting going on this weekend. Uh, phenomenal uh, energy here. We've got dealers from uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, Russia, and Canada and the U.S. Our host for this evening is a friend of the FXR family. CBS Sports Network host for ISOC. You can also see her as a host on Sledhead 24-7. Please welcome Carly Applin. Thank you for having me, first of all. I feel like home when I come here from Minnesota because there's as much snow as back home, so I love it. As, uh, as the, host, the host of ISOC, how has that whole experience worked out for you and, and what, it, what is it all, what do you bring and, and what do you take out of it? It was fun because when I first started covering ISOC and all the races, I didn't realize that I was going to be outfitted for every race. You guys gave me the catalog and you're like, go through, find what you like and we'll send it out to you so you can wear it for the shows. And it was so difficult to pick out what I wanted, but it's it's a testament to the brand that you guys have at FXR that everybody wants to wear it. Every time I'm out at the track, everybody is asking me, where did you get that? I want that. It is just, I think, a collective resounding, we love FXR. We strive to put a, a good product out there, create a great dealer network. Uh, work with them and, and build the brand uh, in an appropriate manner to really make a profitable company that works for everybody. You know, you want to get the right image, you want to get something that when you put it on, you know, you feel cool or you feel technical or whatever you want to feel like. When you're out there, you're enjoying what you're doing, whether you're riding, you know, on the sled out boondocking around in the backcountry or sitting down on a trail ride. Our goal is to uh, really grow the product and make it available for the consumer. We're aware that consumers know what FXR is and they want to buy the product and so our goal is to make it easy for them to procure it. Last night we had a fashion show, launch it off with that, give everybody a sneak peek at what was to come. And there's a complete display built out here with uh, inside a large area where we uh, have every product that we have on sale for next year uh, and the dealers just walk through the entire show and work with their reps and uh, put their orders together to put the product out there for the customer for next year. Boots is a pretty cool category for FXR because 100% of the boots that we, that we sell is developed by FXR. We're not taking anyone else's technology it's all specifically engineered, you know, to give you a better riding experience in our boots. New Blade full carbon helmet. It's got Liat friendly uh, rear diffuser, new mouthpiece, new visor design, super comfortable progressive density cheek pad, and an easy out, easy in removable liner. FXR's success really has to do with the dealer network that it works with. Yeah, and we're, we're very lucky to have dealers from you know, all over North America and all over the world. You wouldn't believe some of the places that we sell products. In. It's time to honor some of you. Our dealers constantly tell us we're the only company or we're by far the most transparent company with that addresses flaws and, and really passionately work to fix them. We just use that platform that FXR has created and, uh, and we try to do it justice on a daily basis.
Milt is, is super passionate about what he does, you know, and, and the team that he's built around him at FXR, you know, we all kind of uphold that same value in terms of just always striving to improve, striving to make the best thing we can. FXR always impresses me with their endless styles, bright colors, and their gear serves a purpose. Our crew loves to wear it out riding and really every day. Still ahead on Sledhead 24-7, we evaluate the Articat HCR as we head to the backcountry with Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Arctic FX Graphics, make it yours. Fox, redefining ride dynamics. And by FXR, world-class outerwear. I'm Carly Applin, your guide to everything snowmobile, enjoying the racing here at Route 66 Speedway right outside of Chicago. Time now to evaluate the Articat HCR with Rob Kincaid and Dave McClure, two of the best backcountry athletes in the industry. Hey everybody, my name is Rob Kincaid and I'm part of the Arctic Cat Backcountry team. My name is David McClure, I'm a sponsored Arctic Cat hill climb racer and backcountry rider. Love racing snowmobiles and today I want to talk a little bit about the Arctic Cat's M8000, the HCR. The new 2015 HCR is awesome. These things are set up right out of the box to make you a winner. This is a sweet sled. It does a, a lot of things really well. A little bit better shock package with a lot more adjustability with the Flox Evolve. One thing that's really cool about the HCR is it's got the fixed steering post. It's a little bit lighter weight. Uh, there's a little less play and, and I, don't, I don't adjust my handlebars very much. The ergos on this snowmobile are awesome. The Arctic Cat throttle pull is really light. You're not getting fatigued by a stiff throttle pull. These things are pretty much right out of the box, ready for the consumer to become a professional. I think everybody in the Midwest that likes to ride trails, but then come out west on a couple trips, this is an awesome sled for them because they can take it home, ride the trails, and then they can come out and do big backcountry stuff on this sled too. Pro Climb chassis is really fun to ride. Uh, I, a lot of people will override it, you know. It really, you just have to think about it and look where you want to go and the sled will just, just t take you wherever you want to go. It's got the Power Claw, the 2.6 track on it. Floats really good in the snow. You can hit the bumps really hard, you can air it out. It's kind of, this sled's built for the guy that, you know, wants to do some big drops. This makes it a real, really good, efficient snowmobile for everything that we do out west. I'm just, consistently going into tighter and tighter trees because I'm getting more and more comfortable in those trees. So uh, that's what's awesome about the mountains. It's always just, there's, there's always something, you know, to push me a little bit more. Whether we're bombing down the trail, racing our buddies back to the pickup, or we're in the trees, real tight lines, side hilling, anything that we want to do on these snowmobiles, it's pretty much set up to do it. That's what I love about the backcountry riding. It's just a, Blank canvas, you can just paint it however you want. So another awesome thing about this snowmobile is uh, they're pretty much set up to go straight up the mountain. This is the sled that we take up Snow King at Jackson Hole. We race them. We go to a lot of ski hills where there's lots of bumps and corners. We're bottoming out the suspension. When we're racing hill climbs, it's like totally different from backcountry riding. After 20, 30 people go up the hill and uh, we're down to rocks and dirt and frozen ground, we are literally punishing these snowmobiles going up the mountain. These things are just bomb proof. They've created this hill, HCR, it stands for Hill Climb Racer. Dave and I have a lot of experience on this snowmobile. The harder you ride this chassis, the better it works. In 
the 20 years I've rode snowmobiles, I've been on Arctic Cat the whole time. I'll always bleed green. And I'll tell you what, in the 20 years, I've seen a lot of technology come. These snowmobiles run so well, straight out of the box. The conditions are always changing, and that's what I like about this sled. It's really versatile. We run them in the back country. We run them on the mountain. We run them hill climbing. We bomb down the trails with them. And uh, the sleds, the Arctic Cats, they could put up with the, the abuse that we put to them. They're a really durable, you know, lightweight chassis. This sled's for the guy that wants the top of the line products right from the get-go. Anything you want to do on a snowmobile, this snowmobile comes straight out of the box, ready to go. Rob and Dave push it to the limits every time they ride and evaluate. Not only do they push the equipment, but each other. That's all the time we have for you for this episode of Sledhead 24-7. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube page, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. I'm your host, Carly Applin, and from all of us here at Sledhead 24-7, thanks for watching. I want to go home. Daddy, he's not snowball.